Guys, today we have our brother from across the pond. We got uh, Mr. Wafa. Uh, this video is a showcase of what a training session with me is going to be like. We're both going to be doing the same workout, but what he's going to be doing is going to be scaled to his capacity. And so the workout for today, we're going to do 10 sets. So basically press, squat, pull, and core. And so let's get to it. A beginner squat tutorial to get started, even in the case of a warm up, making sure that you're moving in the right direction. It helps to have an object in front of you. And so, in this case, you see how my toes are right up against the wheel. The objective here is to make sure that your knees don't go past the, uh, the seat. Once your knees start getting close, right, you're going to be pushing them out. So, just pushing my knees out. If I need to uh, keep myself from falling backwards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally grab this, come back up. And this is going to force you to maintain the proper technique for the squat, activating the glutes, and making sure that you're sitting back as opposed to going forward. So a lot of times people do this, right? Buckle the knee. So, Keep your toes right alongside, push your knees out. That's what I would suggest for the first second. So go ahead and try that. Okay. So, when, so in regards to the push-up, one of the things that we just need to make sure of when we're doing it is ensuring that the forearm is vertical, right? A lot of times, folks make a mistake of going out like this. What you want to do is you want to activate your chest. The way you do that in here is as if you take a couple of dials, you're turning them outwards. What that does, it forces the elbows to come in. And you can see the vertical posture. You here, turn those elbows in, and you come down. And what that does, it activates your entire uh, chest area. And thus, you also maintain proper posture. Keeps your elbows safe too. You come down, you come back up. How do you scale this? Let's say you guys too hard. What you can do is you can grab a wall, you can grab a bench, take the hands, turn them downwards. Grab that bench, and then from here, show you a good position. Same idea. And you can practice scaling your push up. Whatever makes you do it easier. Sometimes it might even help you get on the wall, right? And sometimes it might be hard to do this on the wall, so you might just go sideways. The same concept, right? If that's easier to do, so pick the level that's easiest, and if you get really good, and turn it up even higher and go all the way to the point where you can sit upside down. In addition to vertical forearm and uh, for the purposes of uh, chest activation, the other thing that you want to consider is uh, your shoulder position. Essentially, sometimes people they'll go over here and they'll like they'll shrug their shoulder and, and as a result they're really tighten up. Even over here, if you turn your hands around. Right? If you go to the push-up, sometimes people do this and constrict themselves. So in order to correct 
that. First start here, basically bring your shoulders forward and down, and that way you have full control. Even when you're scaling it, don't be here, shoulders down, forward, like that. Not here, here. This last bit, uh, not the last bit, the third exercise is the pull-ups. A lot of folks can't do pull-ups. What's the alternative? One option is if you have a barbell. This is not a barbell, but if you do have a barbell, what you can do is you can set the barbell on the floor with the weight, and instead of pulling down this way, you can simply come down here and bring the barbell and pull it up like that. So if you're, if you're bringing up the barbell on the floor, you're here, and you're basically pulling the barbell to you. It's called a pro. If you don't have a barbell, in which case you don't, you have the option of a dumbbell. You can grab whatever dumbbell is appropriate. Let's just grab, for the sake of the example, for 35. So you get right here. Make sure that your back is neutral. You feel the pull of your hamstrings. You bring that down. Don't do this. This is bad. This is good. You have to stabilize your whole body for this. Boom. And always focus on the descent. Explode up, then go down slowly. Just like that. So, a third option, if you have the opportunity, like in this case, you might be able to pull this off. Oh, well, actually, we can do this, right? You can do whatever the weight is. So if you have this, same concept, instead of pulling here, you're pulling here. And essentially, if you're going to do a pull up, it's the same concept here. You're pulling like that. So, set these right. Now, when it comes to a core specific exercise, there's a lot of different options. And so, one of the ones that I did was your simple reverse crunch. Right, you're here, boom. You can take this even a little bit further, bring your gear, boom. Or, you put your hands down, leg raises. If you like to do this, you can go with the triangle. Throw your legs up. Or even simpler, if you've got a ball, this actually is a really effective one. So you get to this position. You can bring your hands out, and then from here you literally just crunch up. These are all different options. In this particular workout, you can either do 10 of one, or you can do one of each. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. The key thing is that you get that quote all together.
10 sets of that. Be a good workout. Should take you about 30 or so minutes. Again, scale it. If it takes you more than 30 minutes, you're going too heavy. If it takes you more than less than 20 minutes, you're going too light. So, take care.